Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine. Here I have the SEAC PX100 regulator. So this is a strong entry level regulator, really nice budget price for your very first regulator. Uh, it's light enough for travel. I think it weighs just under 1.4 kilograms. Uh, but just at home in cold water as well. The PX100 has a compact piston first stage, uh, braided Miflex hoses, and a modern polymer second stage with adjustable Venturi as well. Let's take a closer look. So starting off with the first stage, this is a piston first stage. Um, so very efficient and just nice and compact. This is in the A-clamp configuration, uh, but the DIN, you just replace this section with a DIN screw thread. Uh, you, you, of course, get a, um, a dust cap to prevent any like just dust and stuff from getting into the, uh, the first stage. You've got a single high pressure port and then four low pressure ports going around. This is in like a wheel and spoke design first stage. Then moving down, hose protectors obviously, uh, to, uh, to help prevent that hose from bending and flexing and, uh, and damaging the hose. Then we have the braided Miflex hoses. So these are a lot lighter than a traditional rubber hose. They're also much more flexible as well. They've got plenty of bend and flex, and I believe they have a higher burst pressure as well. Um, if we look at the, uh, the primary second stage first, if I just organize these hoses quickly, so the hose comes in right hand side, traditional second stage design and on the, uh, the front cover. So the purge button it has a really nice textured purge button as most of this is, uh, is, is your purge button. So even if you've got gloves, you press on the front and you're going to find that, uh, that purge button. It's got a decent amount of um, like rigidity to it, if that makes sense. It's not soft because second stages with a really very soft purge button on the front, this material wears out a bit too quickly, but when it's nice and firm like this, you, you know you've got plenty of time with this, um, no matter how much you uh, you press that purge button. And also it's open to the front, so that's gonna help um, sort of reduce free flowing. Big diaphragm on the front of this, so you get a nice natural breathe. And the second stage itself is all made out of polymer, so it's very lightweight, so suitable for travel. Um, Venturi switch on the uh, kind of the top side of it, instead of down here on the side, it's a little bit higher up. So flicked in the plus positive position, that's increasing the airflow. So you'll, you'll have it set to plus whilst you're actually in the water, but on the surface, then I'd switch it to dial it down. There's no negative, but it's to the, the lower setting. That just redirects the airflow inside of the second stage so it's less likely to free flow when you redirect it back towards the front it, uh, it interrupts that free flow so you might get a gasp of, uh, of air but that'll be about it but then when you pop it in your mouth and you go for the dive you're under the water flick it to plus and you'll get just better breathing performance ergonomic mouthpiece on this decent size to it and it's a um, a decent thickness again. Some mouthpieces can be a bit flimsy and divers find that they end up chewing through them basically. Whereas when it's got a decent amount of bite to it, you can hold that second stage in place um, without chewing through, your, um, uh, chewing through your mouthpieces. The exhaust tee on the bottom uh, is graduated as well. So that's gonna help deflect the bubbles further away so they're not interrupting your view. And the Octo or the alternate version is this day glow orange and that continues to the front cover as well. I quite like this because some designs you have that like mellow yellow and then a day glow. So you get two different yellows, which always bugs me, uh, but at least now they match. Uh, so yeah, just very much the same. It's the same body, the same front cover, the same Venturi switch, the same mouthpiece. Uh, it's just the that front cover and then the ring around it is in that day glow yellow. As far as breathing quality goes, yeah, they're perfectly fine. They're not gonna be the nicest out there, but these are more designed to be a, more of a, a budget regulator. Uh, not to say that you'll struggle to breathe with it or anything, because you've got a you've got a balanced piston first stage. You're gonna get all the air that you need, uh, but the more money you spend, then you're just gonna get a slightly higher quality of breathe. Um, 
lightweight as well, but still cold water rated. So you could dive this at home. Uh, I wouldn't go to really, really cold waters because it isn't environmentally sealed. Um, that's one thing with piston regulators. Uh, you usually have that water ingress uh, around the um, uh, around the spring. Um, but for just diving at home in the summertime and then going abroad to nice warmer climates on holiday, uh, yeah, good set of regulators and yeah, at a nice budget price point. So I used to teach with the uh, the predecessors to these regulators as school regulators and they were always tough and reliable and that's being dived every single day. Um, the perfect regulator if you're just getting into scuba diving and you don't want to spend too much on a set of regs but you still want your own regulators that are going to last a few seasons. Uh, the uh, the regulator set, which is the the first stage, the uh, the primary and the octo, is going to cost you about two hundred and seventy pounds. That's what the RRP is. And yeah, all you really need to do is add some gauges and any low pressure inflator hoses that you need for your BCD and maybe a dry suit. Um, so that's pretty darn good for a regulator set below 300 pounds. Um, if you click on this link up here, that's going to take you to your nearest affiliate dive store. It's all based on your, your IP address. And of course, you can head over to our website, scubadivermag.com and subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.